So, seeing as it is now December 1st and I haven't filmed a video in like two months, I decided that since I actually finished more than one book this month, I would go ahead and film my November wrap up and then my December TBR, which is just going to be in the same video because why the hell not? Even though I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas in October, I'm just going to talk about it now because I never actually did do a wrap up for October because this is the only book I read. But it's fine because the book was very good. I am, well I started the second one and then other books distracted me so now I'm not really reading it at the moment but I will read it at some point very soon. Anyway, moving on to the actual books that I read for November. Um, the first one is Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I'm so happy that I finally, finally read this book because guys, it was so good. The ending is just beautiful and the book itself is just so beautiful and it was such a good book. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it already. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it. Uh, basically, it's told in a very unique way. As you can see, it's told through emails and uh, other ways. I can't really explain it. Um, but there are these two main characters, Katie and, oh my gosh, how did I forget his name? Um, there are two characters, K.E. and Ezra, that's the one, and they break up before this huge rebellion thing goes off on their home planet, and then they're like one of the only ones who end up surviving, so they kind of just broke up, so it's like really awkward and stuff, and then they end up getting on two different ships, and then they start communicating again, and there's this whole conspiracy thing going on where one of the ships might actually be like evil and stuff and yeah that's all I'm gonna say about it but um there's so much more to it and it's just so good there is like this huge moment where you just think everything's gone to shit and you don't want to read anymore but I promise if you keep reading you will get through it and it gets better and the only other book that I read for November, but I'm proud to say that I did read more than one book, or one book at all, for November, um, is Finding Audrey by Sophia Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella. I've been wanting to read a book by Sophie Kinsella for like a very long time, and then I've also been wanting to read Finding Audrey for a very long time, because I've heard it's so good. And it's pretty short, and I must say that I'm so happy that I finally did because this book is so damn good. It is about a 14 year old girl named Audrey who went through a very, very traumatic, um, I guess it's just bullying. It's pretty traumatic though. She has high, high anxiety and depression and she no longer can function in public places or anything. She always stays at home and she has to wear these um, sunglasses because she can't she can't deal with light or looking at anyone like she's very bad with eye contact and contact in general um, and yeah it's this is basically about her trying to deal with that as a 14 year old trying to deal with the fact that she's about to have to go back to school next year and all that kind of stuff and it's just so good. There's so much more to it, obviously, but I'm not going to tell you much because that's all you really need to know because, yeah. Anyway, it was really good and I highly recommend that you read it if you haven't already. We're going to move on to my December TBR now, starting with a book that I'm currently reading, which is the only book that I have bought, might I add, since the month of August, not October. I didn't buy books in October. I have not bought any books since August and I'm very proud to say that because I am in college and I should not be buying anything at the moment except for food and gas money. But anyway, Stealing Snow by Daniel Page. This so far is very good. I am enjoying it a lot. Um, basically what I can tell you about this is it's about the Snow Queen and by Snow Queen I mean the real Snow Queen not Elsa from Frozen. It's about the real Snow 
Snow Queen and she doesn't know that she is the Snow Queen and she is in a mental institution so now she's like just figuring out who she really is and why she ended up in a mental institution in the first place and it's just it's so good it's a retelling and it's it's so amazing I need to read the actual Snow Queen story because I've never read it but I've heard it's definitely a lot gr more gruesome than the Frozen version but yeah, this came out this year. In fact, not too long ago, I'm pretty sure. And it's just so good so far. I've been wanting it forever and I finally bought it and I'm so happy I did because I immediately started reading it once I finished Finding Audrey. So the first book that I want to try to reread this month and possibly the rest of the series, but it's probably not gonna happen because there's just seven books. So it's like, no, I want to actually read other books besides this one. But I am going to start rereading the Harry Potter series because it's Harry Xmas to you on booktube and it's Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them just came out and I was ashamed that I didn't know all the names of the magical creatures instead of just some. Like I'm very ashamed of that. So I want to catch up and I want to relive that glorious moment where they were doing care of magical creatures class with Hagrid. Like, I want to. So I'm going to. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is the new version that came out a few years back where the spines make the Hogwarts castle. I only have the first, second, and fifth, but I am asking for them for Christmas. And, uh, hopefully that'll happen. It, it probably won't, though, because I asked last year, too, and it, it didn't happen. Um, but anyway, moving on. I also talked to Tori and we decided to actually do a book uh, for this month again as we used to do and we are going to be reading Three Dark Crowns by Kinder Blake. This is about three sisters who are all princesses and they each have a magical power and they all have to fight for the right to be queen. You have to fight for your right to be queen. And um... Mirabella is a fierce elemental, uh, Catherine is a poisoner, and Arsino a naturalist, which is like the ability to bloom the reddest rose and control the fiercest of lions. Interesting. So I'm very excited to read this, and yeah, that's it. And because this is December, where I don't have to worry about classes for once, because it's going into next semester, which has nothing to do with the classes I'm currently taking. Um, I can read as many books as I want and it makes me so happy to know that. Um, one book that I've been wanting to read for a while is Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. I heard there was a sequel, in fact I saw it in Target the other day, and it came out and I was like, when was there a sequel to this? So now I have to read the first one because I want the sequel. because. Black Widow is one of the best characters in the Avengers. I enjoy her. I love her very much. And not just because Scarlett Johansson plays her. I mean, that has a, that has, you know, that has a little bit to do with it. But mostly because she's just so freaking badass. Final book that I really, really want to try to read for this month is Empire Storms by Sarah J. Maas. This is the new edition to the Throne of Glass series. Um, I believe there's maybe one or two books left that she's writing, but I have yet to read this and I've heard so many mixed reviews on it, so I'm kind of scared, um, really scared actually. I'm terrified of what's going to happen, but I'm excited as well because I, there are things that I need to know, like very soon, but anyway. So far, I have chosen to read possibly five books for December. I actually might have time, so that's that's why I'm doing that to myself. Plus, I have to meet my goal of reading 50 books this year, and I'm not there yet. And I'm very ashamed to say I'm not there yet, but I will get there. So anyway, guys, those are the books that I read for November and the books that I am planning to read for this December. I'm so excited because Christmas time and usually it's the busiest time of the year but for me that means I get to have a break from stuff like from sewing costumes and 
drawing pictures for theater and memorizing things. Like, I, I get a break. And it's great. It's so great. <sighs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will try to make a video sometime next week. Bye.